Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? Well, it's time for me to do a analysis of Sony X900E HDR. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about my picture settings here. That'll be for another video. I'm just going to walk you through this game and talk about the HDR on Sony X900E. Now, Sony X900E is still a great TV. Regardless of some people complaining about the bending light, listen, let's make something clear. All of these LED televisions, they're all LCD LED televisions, okay? They have LCD. They're still LCDs. They're LCD LED television. They still have LCD panel with a backlit of LED whether we're talking vertical alignment or IPS in plane switching or twisted pneumatic, doesn't matter. There's still LCD, LED backlit television. In a basic terms that every Joe and every Mary can understand, they are LCD panels with backlight, backlit of LEDs. However, what differentiates all of these televisions from each other is technology that's built behind it. Some of these televisions, they have a really good technology that uses a quantum dot uh, technology cells, a billions of them, they're put inside to enhance the color palette. Some of these televisions, they have a wider range of full array local dimming that goes across the panel. So therefore, the television will look less bleeding of that light because it's dimming that uh, bleeding light with those local dimming zones. But one thing people got to remember, if you turn the lights off, if you turn the lights off and you completely dimmed everything down in your room and it's pitch black in your room and you go to watch a movie that has the black bar top to bottom and you turn on the option menu, okay? For example... <clears throat> If I was to do this, I'm going to do this really quick just for you guys. So uh, let's say I switch to a option menu here. Now you guys cannot see it, but yes, that light, it's always going to be there. You see that light like right here? Let me bring my camera closer. You see like right here? Like right here? That light, it's always going to be there because of that backlit of the LED. Every LCD LED television will have that reflection, whether you like it or not, because it's a LED backlit television, all right? To truly not have any kind of bending light at all, it's to have an OLED. Because the OLED doesn't have any backlit. OLED, it's emitting by itself. Okay? So, I'm sick and tired of listening to people nip, nitpicking on these things. These are the things that regular Joes and regular Marys don't really care about. Okay? And people who make those videos, they're only doing it just to profit money. They're doing it to start some kind of controversy. And they're doing it to get the views. Okay, they're just doing it to get the views. They're money hungry for the views. They think there's a shortcut to becoming a successful YouTuber. And this is exactly why you're never going to be a successful YouTuber because you're nitpicking and looking for controversy. I'm not going to name names over here, but they know who they are. All right? Now, having said that, let's move on to the analysis because I don't have time to talk about this kind of nonsense. I've seen all kinds of nonsense and garbage out there on the YouTube. Okay, I'm 40 years old. I've been doing this since some of you guys didn't even exist. Okay? So, let's move on with the HDR. This is a LED backlit television. All of the LCDs are LED backlit. Yes. If you turn the lights off, you're going to find that bending light. If you zoom in with your camera or if you zoom in with your binoculars or your magnifying glass, you're going to find it. Because there is a light there. Of course there's going to be a light but people like to nitpick and they like to uh, do these videos for controversy for the views. And they're doing it for that reason only. Now let's move on. Because I don't have time to talk about this nonsense and this ludicrous stupidity. Okay? Of course LED is the, the best looking TV. 
but it's the most fragile TV because of the technology, the nature of technology. I never said that OLED doesn't have the greatest uh, picture quality. It does have the greatest picture quality, but the problem with the OLED is it's a very fragile technology, and you have to babysit that TV. I don't want to spend $3,000 babysitting something. I just spent five minutes explaining this nonsense. Now, let's move on, and let's look at the uh, HDR here on Forza Horizon 4 on Sony X900E. As I have mentioned earlier on my previous video regarding uh, TCL R617, uh, the amount of detail that you see, now the reason to say Mrs. 4K because it's a chick that's driving it, so it's going to say Mrs. 4K, but the amount of detail that you see, the amount of reflection that you see uh, on this Xbox One X version is truly, <clears throat> it's truly remarkable. I do have a PC version uh, as well, and I will do tests on that as well and comparisons. But honestly, this is really close to a PC version. What you're seeing on the Xbox One X, it's very close to a PC version. And I think this game uh, should be enough of a reason for you to purchase a Xbox One X and a 4K HDR television. Uh, there's just no question, there's no doubt in my mind. The amount of detail that's put in this game is truly remarkable. Even in these uh, in these houses right here, you can see inside a house. Actually, that's the kind of detail that they went for in this game. You can even see inside a house. You can see the kitchen table. Uh, you can see. Uh, the drinks on the top. I mean, it's crazy. The amount of detail they put inside this game. Uh, considering the fact that this is a racing game. Okay, this is a racing game, guys. And, and the amount of detail they put in here is truly remarkable. But how does the HDR look on this game? Well, let's race a little bit. Let's, let's do some racing and I'll talk about it. The, the HDR on Sony X900E is really great. Uh, like I said, Sony is a good TV. It's a great TV. Sony X900E, it's a great TV. Uh, it has a pretty decent amount of local dimming zones. Uh, you have a variety of different options. Uh, you have the options to choose how much of black levels would you like, how much of backlit would you like. Uh, you can make this TV look uh, really good if you know how to calibrate properly if you know how to adjust those black levels and not crush them you know if you know how to do that properly uh, but <clears throat> in terms of HDR you know this television has live color and a lot of people ask me about the live color well live color brightens up that white color gamut that color accuracy and that's something that's very important on high dynamic range televisions for you to brighten up that color maybe I can do a, a quick demo here I'll use uh, I'll find a good parking spot here maybe I can and I'll, I'll demonstrate that demo to you guys what I mean by the live color and why the live color is so important I'm gonna park over here somewhere where there's a lot of sunlight and I'll use a photo mode and like right here okay just give me a second let me go to a photo mode and uh, I think right here is good right here or maybe right here I'm trying to find a good position here All right, I think this is good right here I want you guys to pay attention to this color I want you to pay attention to the color on the car and everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my camera closer. I'm going to bring it closer and then I'm going to turn the color, high color, live color off and on. And I want you guys to see how much of that color gamut brightness you're going to lose once you turn the color, high, uh, live color off. So I'm going to bring my uh, camera closer. <clears throat> okay, so I brought my camera closer for you guys. 
so you can see this demo. All right, we're gonna go to a picture adjustments, and then we're gonna go to a advanced settings. We're gonna go to the color, and the live color is right here. It says, it says hi. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's like right here where my finger is in remote. Live color right now, it's on high. And I want you guys to pay attention to this screen and the color and to see what's going to happen once I turn the live color off. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but now the color gets dimmed down. Once it's off, the color's dimmed down. Once it's on, the color gets brightened up. And keep an eye right here, right here on this uh, on the headlight. It's kind of really hard to see it through a camera. Maybe I can give you guys a better uh, angle, like maybe where there's more uh, color, like right here. Let me try and do this, like right here. Okay, there's plenty of color here. Let's try and do this. So when people say that when you turn the live color on that you are oversaturating the color, that is just utter nonsense. That shows me that person has no idea what he's talking about when a person starts saying something like that. Uh, it, it shows me either A, you're just doing it to start some controversy or you're just doing it because you want the clicks and you're hungry for the views. But you are just misfalsifying the information. Turning the live color on enhances the brightness of that color and that's what you want on a high dynamic range this is part of the x1 processing chip a very powerful processing chip that's built inside sony televisions so if you want to turn off that live color off well then uh, what's the purpose of you having the hdr the purpose of hdr is to brighten up that color gamut and live color set to high is going to help that. It is hard for me to, to show you that through a camera here, okay? But don't listen to people out there who spew a bunch of nonsense on the YouTube videos talking all kinds of nonsense, okay? They're, they're going to talk about all of these televisions bad because they're looking for something new. They're looking for the new controversy, they're going to find a new controversy. They're going to cook up a new controversy. These are the money-hungry people for the views. They don't care about the televisions. They only care about the views. And there's plenty of these copycats out there on the YouTube. I've seen all these copycats on the YouTube making these videos, trying to find some controversy, looking for the views. And all they get is a roughly maybe 400, 500 views, 300 views. Uh, roughly they make maybe 500 views. Why? Because nobody cares. They know that this person is not credible, has no credibility, doesn't know what this person's talking He doesn't know what he's talking about. And people just simply should ignore that kind of nonsense. There's all kinds of garbage out there on YouTube. There's people out there just doing it for the money reasons. There's people out there just trying to copy me, try to do what I do, try to start some controversy with me, try to get to me. Well, people have tried it for three years and nothing happened. Because... I don't play that type of a game. I'm here to tell you the facts. These are the facts. Oh, you can contact Sony. Go ahead. Write a letter to the Sony. Sony will tell you exactly the same thing. You can contact a professional calibrators. They'll tell you the same thing. Okay, they might have a different preference, but they'll tell you the facts are, yes, the live color is going to enhance the brightness on that color gamut, meaning the brighter color, which is necessary for high dynamic range. Now let's move on. All right, so I'm going to keep my uh, camera close to the television. This is a television. It's not like some screenshot I put onto the video, okay? And uh, I want to talk about the, uh, the HDR here for a minute and why, to me personally, I believe the Forza Horizon 4 has the best HDR that I have seen. Next to us, uh, Spider-Man and God of War. 
this is truly remarkable. Another thing that's remarkable about Forza Horizon 4 is the fact that the graphics, they truly utilize the power of the Xbox One X. When they were designing this game, they were designing it in mind with the Xbox One X. Uh, and they truly, with Turn 10 Studios and Playground Games, obviously, Playground Games is the one that developed this game. Turn 10 Studios is the one that just publishes it. And what they truly have done, along with the Microsoft, obviously, they have partnership with Turn 10 Studios. What they've done here is truly something that utilizes the power of six teraflops, the power of that memory bus speed, and the power that that GPU and CPU built inside Xbox One X, it's implemented. Now, when you implement that graphical power with native 4K and high dynamic range, well, this is the end result, guys. So if you truly want to show off your Xbox One X, uh, this holiday season, if you want to show off your what I'm trying to say is this, if you want to show off your HDR and what your Xbox One X can do in terms of HDR and 4K, I think this is the game. This is the game. And this is the fall. We're not even uh, in the winter. We're not even in the spring. We're not even in the summer. This game has four seasons. The seasons do change. Dynamic weather does changes. You got sunrise. You got sunset. You got noon. You got, you know... Throughout the day, midday, you got all of the above. A heavy rain, light rain, heavy storms, uh, heavy snow, light snow, blizzards. You got all of that stuff. The frostbite, the freezing weather, all of that it's implemented here on this game. And this is where the HDR is going to benefit. And this is why I tell people, this is a type of a game that it's always going to benefit for HDR due to the uh, the environment of the game, the nature of the game, and it's always going to benefit, and it's always going to look better. All right, so I mean, this is hands down. Listen, guys, this is hands down the best uh, HDR game you can pick up right now on Xbox One X. There's nothing better at the moment right now for the Xbox One X. I'm telling you, uh, this is it. The graphics are simply stunning the level of detail here that's put inside the this game i'm zooming in look at me i'm zoomed in all the way in even the reflection of the f-150 is presented the level of detail that's put into this game is truly remarkable the reflection the dirt uh the shocks the tire you can even see the, the, uh, how the tires being a little bit torn apart. What I mean by torn apart, you can see some scratches on the tire. You can see the outline of the scratches on the tire. You can see that mud that's uh, overlapping the tires. You can see all of this detail. And then you can see inside the car, the seats, the person with the hair works, uh, the dashboard. It's all there. It's all there, guys. It's all there. And this is all rendered in 3D. This is all in 3D. And it looks just simply amazing. Okay? So, Sony X900E, it's a great TV. Listen, guys, don't... Don't fall for this nonsense, people telling you don't buy Sony X900E. If Sony X900E was a, a horrible TV, I wouldn't recommend you to buy it. I would say don't buy it, it's a terrible TV, but it, that's not true. Sony X900E has, no other TV has more features than Sony X900E. Sony televisions have unbelievable amount of features for picture calibrations. This is why... Uh, Professional calibrators, they love this TV because it has endless, endless, endless tools. Tools of features available for you to calibrate the picture quality to your likeness or to the best possible ability that you can uh, achieve. 
with your instruments like you know Kelman uh, equipment from Kelman, uh, which is really expensive, but if you have it, you know you can use it. And I'm telling you right now, uh, don't listen to all these naysayers. Uh, Sony X, if you can get Sony X nine hundred E for like seven fifty or eight hundred dollars, uh, go pick, go pick it up, dude. Go buy it. Go buy it. Thank you, Sky Solid Steel. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. People like my screenshots, and, and these are remarkable screenshots, man. Uh, they definitely are. Look at the birds out there. The birds, the detail, the amount of stuff that's happening here, the amount of stuff it takes to render all of this is just simply amazing. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Hopefully, this video was informative. Hopefully, this video... Remember, I do these videos to be unbiased and tell you the truth. I'm not here to start a controversy. I'm not here to sell you a snake oil. I'm doing this because I want to tell you the, the truth. Okay? I'm not doing these videos for some wrong reasons, trying to make some quick cash or trying to do some controversy or this or that. The haters will say that. They will tell you that because that's what they want they want you to believe that but all of you who know me you know I do these videos because I want to be honest with you and I want to be frank with you and that's what I'm doing here and I have nothing but credibility as you can see I have these televisions I got everything and I have credibility all right guys well thank you for watching I'll catch you later on on my live stream take care my YouTube live stream of this game